So, maniac number one is a hacker exposes Bush family emails, photos, and George W. Bush's amazing, amazing self-portraits. After gaining access to the personal email accounts of Dorothy Bush, George W. Bush's sister, and several friends close to the Bush family, a hacker apparently at obtained Bush family photos, cell phone numbers, security codes, information about George H.W. Bush's health, a post-election email from Fox News' Britt Hume, and most amazingly, like super freaking amazingly, pictures of George W. Bush's in-progress paintings which are just as awkward and simple as you'd hope. Like they are <laughs> the really remarkable part of this whole story, the photos, the pictures are ridiculously cool. We're posting them on the follower show website, Twitter, Facebook, etc., etc. They're on the stream right now where you can see them. They are the worst self portraits I've ever seen in my entire life. Richard, what do you have to say about this? You know, I don't think they're that bad. Um, I'm not. I, I I think over the years, I think that the older I get, I then now don't get angry. Progressive world, the more I become a defender of George Bush, not his policies, of George Bush the person. The fact that he's a complete idiot. He's adorable. No, don't not. Get it I mean, twisted. I think. Listen, you're just as smart as your. You're just as smart as your smartest staff member, right? When you do, when you're the president of the United States. Yeah, and Carl was a freaking genius. I'll give you that. Okay, I get you. And, I mean, I think his staff led him in the wrong direction a lot of times, but he's still just as smart. Uh, and I think, like, a, a great example, not to, to to rehash George W. Bush, but I don't really think, like, I remember I watched his Oprah interview that he gave after he left the presidency when he wrote his book. And he talked about how Katrina happened for him in his eyes, right? And I really don't think that he would, I don't really think if he knew the full extent of what happened in Katrina, he'd be like, oh, I'm just going to sit in Texas for five days. It worries me about the state of the presidency and the imperial presidency and what have you when you have someone in office that is that disengaged with it's not a matter everyday about affairs. It's not a matter about being, being disengaged, though. It's a matter of the staff. That's the job of your staff. Your staff is to keep you engaged. Like most, the there's staff, not one I think, purposely kept him unengaged. The staff was just like, keep being like, hell of a job, Brownie. Keep doing what you're doing. And like keep letting Cheney run the country from his shadow. I'm, but I, I agree with you. But that's I don't think you blame George Bush. I think you blame the staff. I think I think if you were to ask President Obama what the what a price what Did, the do we say the buck stops here? Because I think that there's I agree with you. But I think if you were to ask President Obama, do you know what the price of milk is? And I'd be like, uh, staff. <laughs> I bet I bet Obama knows it, but only because his staffs told him, so he's prepared in questions. Exactly. Bush's You're only staff as good as wouldn't have prepared him. Your staff softens you. Your staff hardens you. Your staff. I mean, to the point, up to the point where the, the official White House photographer determines what angle you get shot at and what right. angle goes out to the public. They determine who's covering you. They determine who's which, which who's I, following you in your pool. I get it. I've lived for a while. Like, I understand how Washington works. And I think uh, uh, so. I, uh, what I say for George Bush, is I feel sorry for him that you know he had like he did. Don't get me wrong. His policies sucked. He was an idiot with bad policies who then got the short end of the stick for staff, including right. like. I think we Scooter forget Libby. about some of the screw ups, like Scooter Libby, Harriet Myers. Remember okay. that Supreme Court nomination? Like he just did ridiculous. Dana things Perino, sometimes. he has horrible staff. Dana Perino, I kind of had a crush on her for a while, even though she's a horrible person. Who but, wouldn't? Hmm. I mean, either way, I uh, I think I'm happy the president has found something to do with his pastime. Not saying these pictures are the best pictures in the world, dude. If like he ran the freaking world. But he's trying now to find a way he's to doing stress. like horrible self portraits of his he has butt else to while do. he's in the shower with his face in the mirror. What is he, a hipster twenty five year old girl? Are you kidding me? I don't see. I think this is. I really like clearly. Uh, you know, this is from a hacked email account. I mean, it's okay. a fascinating. Well, look into if his these psyche. are the worst ones, I want to see the best ones, and he's not releasing them because they're horrible. See, you're part of the problem. I am. Nobody. I think the private. No matter what, the president's the, the 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 Bush family's privacy was compromised. Oh, I completely. I don't think it was. And these right. pictures wouldn't have been out to the public. We wouldn't be laughing about them. I'm okay with that. But also, like, there's right. a lot of things that Bush brought the public that were untrue. And so this is karma. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you okay. sending. It's karma. Colin Powell, one of my favorite people in the whole world for a long time. Up in front of the UN with false intelligence to wave I a vial hey, of hey, around. Hey, this hey, is hey, what hey, he hey, 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 hey. You think hey. he did that? It's your show. 
Go ahead. I never said, I've never, ever, 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 ever said that I, I agreed that. with his policies. I said. Cheney's policies. Or Cheney. I don't like Dick Cheney. I think he's a horrible man. And that's why he has no heart. And he shoots people. Literally. He actually but has But no I heart. think I find, I, for some reason, my heart wants to have compassion for George W. Bush. No, I have a lot of compassion for George W. Bush. I totally agree with you on that because. I don't know. I mean. He's like that bumbling idiot. Don Quixote type who just happened Humbling to be born into Quixote the Bush type. family. And like they were like, Oh my god, you did a lot of coke and you skipped National Guard duty and like you were a drunk for a while, but now like go buy a baseball team and run for governor. And this I guy Carl know. Rove is gonna make you president. And like he was just like, Yeah, I want that. I want that a lot. I don't know. I I think. And then he got there, and he was just like, oh I my I think. Listen, God. I I didn't. I never. I can't say that I read the book. The book that he wrote, his memoirs, but I did get a chance to watch his two part Oprah interview, as I do. Um, and I think it really sheds a light, and she does a really good job of shedding a light. And you know, I always commend because no know. one's ever faked an Oprah interview before. No, it's hard to fake an Oprah interview. It is. It is. But have you tried faking an Oprah interview? Someone. I it's have hard not. to fake an Oprah interview because Oprah but is. We're talking good. about someone who is a former president of the United States, who's the most media trained person in the entire. Yeah, but we're talking world. about the Oprah Winfrey. I know. Oh God, I love Oprah. She cracked. She's cracked everybody. 